Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be playing a bit of Vampire the Masquerade. Now I had started playing this, god, years ago, um, and never really got very far in it. Um, so I know the beginning, and I know a little bit of the, um, the storyline, but that's about it. Um, I maybe got a half hour in. I mean, <laughs> for whatever reason, I just, I think this came out, well, I got it, I should say, around the same time Skyrim came out. So my life kind of just like switched right over to Skyrim and never came back. So I wanted to give this another shot and, um, and see if it was any good. Now, the, um, the game's a bit older, so graphically it's not going to be all that pleasing, but I did get, there's like an unofficial update that supposedly helps with that a little bit, so we're gonna, we're gonna jump in and get started. The world of darkness is a place where immortal monsters pull the strings of humanity. Violence and despair are common here. The world is bleak, but, oh, yeah, doesn't let you read, okay. <laughs> Alright, so a new game starts with creating a new character. Would you like to answer a series of questions and hope the computer gets it right, or go directly to character sheet? And I kind of prefer a character sheet. Alright, so we have our name already actually all filled in, which is fantastic. Um, it's probably because, like I said, we downloaded this. Alright, so we have a couple different clans we can pick from. We have uh, Bruja are passionate idealists and rebels more likely to fight for their rights than write protest songs. In life, most Bruja sought social change, and undeath most clan members commonly seek the creation of vampiric utopia. So, they receive plus one to unarmed feats, but are penalized with minus two to all frenzy checks. Okay. Uh, we have Gant Grell. Um, let's see. Wild loners that are the most in tune with the beast within, allowing them to shapeshift into more beastly forms. Nomadic in nature, Gangrel care little about vampire politics and prefer to dwell and hunt in the outskirts of society. Because of their animalistic nature, they receive a plus five to strength, stamina, and wits during frenzy. Hmm. However, because of their inherent feral nature, Gangrel receive a minus one on all frenzy checks. So if I want to go frenzy, I could do that. Uh, Malkavian. Malkavians are known as lunatics because of their ability to hear voices of insight and subject others to their insanity through their discipline, demen dementation. The world appears much different to the Malkavian than it does to the sane clans, though the extent of a Malkavian's madness depends on the individual. A blessing and a curse, a Malkavian's insanity will help or hinder them, depending on how much they struggle against their nature. They start with a plus two to inspection, which actually is pretty helpful. Because I believe inspection is where you find hidden things. So, we have Nosferatu, which are these ugly motherfuckers. Hideous, skulking, and powerful. Even in a world of monsters, the Nosferatu stand out. They embrace twists and deforms their physical features, forcing them to seek sanctuary underground. Nosferatu are masters of the shadows. Due to their curse, Nosferatu have a seduction of zero and can never raise it any higher and they hide their existence from common humans. Having shared the darkness with vermin for so long, vampires of clan Nosferatu were able to draw extra nourishment from rats. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is one that's actually really hard because you have to kind of stay in the sewer areas and constantly run around there. I might be wrong on that, but... Uh, Toriador. Tor Torador, whatever, uh, picture themselves as artists and visionaries, and they value the high society mentality that the Camarilla reinforces. Of all clans, the Torador are the most connected to the mortal world through arts and entertainment. Torador are beautiful creatures, svelte and seductive, and move almost effortlessly through the society of the living. The Torador's empathy is both gift and a burden. All humanity shifts are doubled. Interesting. Uh, we have the Tremere. Uh, blood sorcerers, born from mystic r rituals in Diablerie, the Tremere are the least trusted of the Camarilla clans. The ritual of the Tremere used to transform from living mages into undying monsters stripped them of their magical arts. To compensate, the vampires of Clan Tremere developed thaumaturgy, the powerful discipline of blood magic. The clan guards its secrets jealously and are the only kindred to wield this powerful discipline. 
pursuit of arcane knowledge comes before all else, and the reliance upon it has weakened the bloodline. Tremere can raise no physical attributes above four points. So, kind of reliant on blood magic stuff. And then we have the Ventru. We kind of started with... They are the upper echelon of society. They're honorable and virtuous leaders of the Camarilla. Wholeheartedly support the masquerade, influencing the mortal and undead worlds to help them maintain the masquerade, as well as garner support for themselves. Clan Venture is an exclusive and powerful gathering of immortals, and even the lowliest initiative Clan Venture can expect special treatment in kindred society. This regal bloodline, however, gains no nourishment from the lowborn and thin blood. Uh, Venture gain no blood from feeding on animals. Feeding on low-life humans, prostitute, and the homeless can cause the Venture to vomit. So, kind of not feeling the Ventru, just because that really is limiting for sources of feeding. Um, so that leads us with Tremere, Torador, Malkavian, Gangrel, and Bruja. I kind of like the idea of Gangrel, but I, this bonus for Frenzy, I don't think we're going to be Frenzying that often. Um, Bruja wouldn't be bad. The unarmed is good. Um... But they might frenzy more often. I'm, I'm kind of digging the Malkavian. I kind of want to play that. Uh, we, <laughs> we. Uh, I guess I have to put a NSFW on this, huh? Woo! Um, should we play as hot, crazy cheerleader chick? <laughs> no, fuck it. Let's do it. Um. All right, so here's our, our attributes and what have you. In terms of the Malkavians, the crazy people, uh, we can have a one social point. So we can go with Charisma, uh, which increases our ability to sway others through personality. Uh, it affects persuasion down here. Uh, manipulation, which is for haggling, I guess, money. Um, not too worried about that. And then Appearance, which is good for seduction. Well, we are crazy hot cheerleader chicks, so let's do, let's go with seduction. <laughs> I don't even know if that's going to be helpful. All right, so then we have two mental traits that we can add. We can do perception, intelligence, and wits. Now, perception helps with inspection and ranged. Intelligence helps with research and intimidation, and wits helps with defense and hacking. So for the fact that it has defense in there, a little bit of combat help, because we have like no physical traits. We're going to throw this into wits. That's going to be helpful. All right. Um, in terms of abilities, we have one, two, and three points to spend. So talents, we have brawl, which I believe is just, yeah, unarmed attacks, dodges, which is, again, defense, intimidation, which helps with just intimidation, and subterfuge, which is, again, good for seduction. But we already have an extra point in seduction, um, and I think we could use something for combat there. So unarmed might be good. Uh, Skill-wise, we can add something in firearms, melee, security, or stealth. We actually have two points here. Um, I don't mind going full-on unarmed. That's not a problem. I mean, melee is going to help us, I think, with like actual weapons, whereas unarmed is just, just fighting with your fists. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I know lockpicking is helpful, because that's pretty common in most games. Um, and I suppose sneaking could be helpful. I mean, we're supposed to stay in the shadows as uh, vampires, right? Yeah, alright, so let's do that. Um, alright, so we can go for computer hacking, finance, again, haggling. And it's just, it seems like a pointless skill. You know, outside of like a I don't know. Pen and paper game. Haggling just seems silly. Uh, investigation, which is inspection. We are, again, already have a three on inspe inspection. I kind of feel like we don't need to bump that. And then research and persuasion. All right, so let's do point in hacking. We might as well just bump inspection to four. And then we'll do one in scholarship. Of that bump in persuasion. 
All right, so then in terms of disciplines, these are like our special powers. Um, we have auspex, which enhances your mental faculties and allows you to see the auras of those around you. All levels of auspex cost one, and they carry no risk of violating the masquerade. So on level one, uh, adds a point to wits, which increases hacking and defense. Um, reveals auras of living and undead within a short distance. Uh, level two. So if we were add to point, add, if we were add to add a point, man, words today. Uh, adds to wits and perception, um, and perception increases ranged as well. Um, then we have dementation. The unique legacy of the Malkavian clan, dementation channels madness and pours it into the minds of those around you. That sounds fun. So on level one, the victim becomes temporarily incapacitated with laughter. Uh, taking any action will end the effect prematurely. Oh, okay. Uh, level two, anyone near you suffers mild hallucinations and minus two penalty to firearms, melee, brawl, defense, and defense against feeding. That's not too bad. And we have obs obs obfuscate. Whatever. It's invisibility. <laughs> um... You can only use it if no one is around you. Uh, you may move invisibly while crouched and perform stealth kills using the attack key, which is actually pretty awesome. So the first one is just hide. Um, invisibility as long as you may remain motionless. Uh, if you take any action, you're screwed. Level 2 is you may move invisibly while crouched and perform stealth kill using the attack key. You will be revealed if you touch anyone or containers or if you interact with the environment. Okay, so if you open a door or something like that, you're... I, I kind of like invisibility. Being able to just kind of sneak up and snap and neck. Oh, did I miss a point? <gasps> I missed a point. All right, so we have an extra point in mental. Um, So we could do ranged inspection, research intimidation, or we could just add another point. It would be heavy defense. We're just going to be dodging shit, shit like crazy. I like that. Like, we're going to hack the shit out of the world. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, I just realized my name is Paul and I'm a chick. <laughs> I want to show you something. <laughs> well, just show everybody, why don't you? <laughs> Those skirt physics. Spot on. Good evening. Just beautiful. My fellow kindred. My apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society. 
lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. All right, well, good, I didn't die. That would make for a very quick beginning of a game. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws... They undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, okay. <laughs> what a scene, man. Hooey. <laughs> then it is ploppy out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? I say the reign of ages plots again to wash away revelation. What? <laughs> what? Oh, man. And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too. Wow. You really are fucked. Oh. <laughs> Who is this dark demon I see before me? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? I shall undertake your dark tutelage. Right. Uh, why don't we, uh... Step out back here. I am where I am, and that's not in the theater of death. Christ, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Uh... About what beverage do you babble? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to love this. All right, check it out. Blood, it's your new rack of lamp, your new champagne. Blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Sweet like a prom date? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> How do I do this dread deed? All right. You go down there casually. You creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so naturally. You 
think you've done it a thousand times already. Hearts cold, a burning thirst, and fangs of the hunter. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. I go to drain the luscious liquid. <laughs> I fucking love this. I am a weirdo. I think we go, yeah, we go like third person. Whee. That hair physics. Woo! Alright, so we can go sneaky sneak. <laughs> we have the best sneak ever. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Doing good? Yeah. Lost your car keys. And I uh, really stretch his neck, don't I? Ooh, almost, almost killed him. Wee! Fly! Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I, I can see it. I'm feeling your eyes. it. You're a born again predator. Feeling, feeling it. that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. So spooky. And when do I choose the color of my cape? All right, now. You got the blood. You're feeling all kick-ass. Feeling better than your best <laughs> oh, day He just ignores wait, that. It gets better. All kindred. Kindred, that's a our word for vampire. Oh. All kindred have a few things in common. Mm. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Tell me like this tale. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality's not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. My lifeline will go on uh, forever? You can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a stake? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? I like a bad okay, sunburn. Now. Oh. I am going in. Alright, so they want us to get up there. So we're gonna use these boxes. Use a lock pick. Come down here. Stay away from the windows! Oh, it's a Sabbat raid. Sabbat? They're, uh... Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, Sabbat? No. They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, alright? Where does this pass? The gathering here, so they figured they'd blaze a little hell with a little heat on the food. Tell me of the Jester Prince. No time for political run now. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. If not the sword? Heads up. Back away. Sabat bastards. 
All right, we got to have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I shall invade this orifice. <laughs> orifice. Oh, something's not right with me. When the door is locked, you will see this icon. Lockpicking, a combination of dexterity and security, is a feat that will help you unlock doors with a lockpick. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I got pretty fingernails. Easy peasy. Ah, uh, shortcut. Yeah, well, clearly. Nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? My halo was terribly tarnished. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson <laughs> on how really not to act, cool. Those sabot assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great. Congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest, and that's what you can expect. Why need we hide our nature? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. My eyes are beginning to open. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a legend like you. My mind is beginning to cloud. Shine a light and explain. That party back there with the guy in the suit, the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Ah. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. <laughs> You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. He's got a weird beard. Paint me a picture. You what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I shall seek this key. Alright, so I know that there's a couple different ways to, to get this key. The um, You can either get the password from the note, or you can just straight up hack the computer. So that's what we are going to do, because we have all that hacking skill. Why the heck not? We're going to unlock, enter, and then there. Now we can open this. And take the key card. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. I will do this deed. All right. So here we go. Heading on out. So, yeah, we lost some health. Fucking waste of on life, these sabat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Does blood have vintage and bouquet? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Uh, the thirsty rarely avoid an oasis. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. What if I drain him dry? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. Yes, the dark beast coiled beneath the surface. Beast. It's always there, waiting to take over. 
When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing a <coughs> Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do I think that this is referring you to, to deal with the frenzy. I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> drain, skin, bash, and dash. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Such lines divide this world from the last. Right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Aye, aye. Oh, Capitan. Hello. <laughs> kind of feel like we didn't need that, but, you know, whatever. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. <laughs> His neck tasted like your breath That's smells. <laughs> I need to floss the flannel from my fangs. <laughs> Let's go get us a rat. Whee. There's one. Om nom 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 nom. Oop, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> you rat sucker. <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Etiquette demands they pass the salt for my rodent feast. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Only Not one. Too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. Oh, You're gonna enough. have to sneak past. Where shall I sneak? Across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows, and don't let him see you. Now you see me. Then you don't. Alright, go. Gone. Alright. So, essentially now, we are going to be dealing with the sneak meter. You see how that fills up? And there's also that green. So the green, I believe, is like the closer I am to somebody, the more that they will likely see me. And then the meter... Took off. Is the, um... Is the visibility. So, like, I could be really close to somebody, but not be visible. Keep it quiet. They're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded, too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably greener than you. How can you see his shade from here? The Sabat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. My own green paint is still fairly fresh. He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. Ashes to ashes, dust he to dust. He is a vampire, so be ready. Vampire, no, he meets his Go maker. Get Getting. Alright, so I know the combat a little bit. And I know that if we sneaky sneak, we can do one of those uh, stealth kills that we were kind of focusing on. Sneaky sneak, sneaky sneak. Alright, see how it pops up at the bottom? We can just do. Snap. Done. Alright, so now we have a tire iron. And we're gonna get an inventory and show you here. There's my ridiculously pointless clothing. So it has a melee combat requirement of 3, damage potential of 10, etc, etc. Our uh, damage potential on our unarmed is straight up 18 already. We don't really need this, but that's because of a feat adjustment. Um, our base damage is 2. Here, feet adjustment of one base damage is two. So, like, the lowest amount of damage we do with these is two for either one. I'm not sure on the lethality. I think that just means, like, how quickly you're going to kill them. 
to image potential is the top number is 18 and this is 10 so um, we take a look here at our character sheet and we see that melee is a 1 so we really shouldn't be using the um, tire iron without two points in melee now we have points in brawl which gives us that unarmed of two which is is much more acceptable I think we'll keep keep going with that that's that sounds like you got another pack moving in though the Saban are going all out better head underground avoid straight bullets this plan is all fine right, to me down into the basement through the grate in there keep that tire iron handy I'll be there in a minute Boop. Alright, so we have another stealth kill possible. Snap. Hey, buddy. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. More fun then. Alright, so this is lockpicking, which I think we don't have much in. Yeah, we only have a 2 in lockpicking. So, um, what that means is we need to use something called blood buff. You can see in the lower right corner there, you can change the uh, different powers I have. Blood buff will give us a buff to dexterity, stamina, and strength, allowing us to lockpick a little bit easier. Sneak in here. Malkavians have three unique disciplines. Auspex, Second Sight, allows you to see the auras of others. Mystical ability to cause vis visions and madness. And then vampiric visibility. So this is going to increase our perception. Uh, important to both range combat and inspection feats. Um, and it's not a masquerade thing. So there's a guard up ahead. Use Auspex to see his aura through the machinery. And use the power key to activate. Remember, it's a passive dis discipline, yada yada. Alright, so basically we're going to use all specs just because the game is making us. We should be able to see him... okay. Well, that was... I wasn't able to see him through the thing. Maybe it's a glitch. No need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. Tell our next encounter at the elevator. Be there. Don't let them catch you. I'll do the fishing. Obfuscate is the power of vampiric invisibility. Alright, so. Uh, so we're gonna obfuscate is our invisibility. As long as we move. Alright, Dementation is the vampiric power causing visions and madness. Alright, so you have level 1, known as Hysteria Scroll there. It's going to fit among... You can then walk past him. Alright, so this is just another... Sneak thing. <laughs> All right, so now we can also pick up items. All right, that's finally done. So you can pick up items, and you can like. Go that way. This dummy will go that way. That's just kind of tutorial stuff. <laughs> Fucking humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Yeah, they probably see Do we lick much. these locals? Here, take this thirty eight. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots and it'll take down a human. These kinds of peas are undoubtedly deadly. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. 
Okay. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's got to keep up with the times. And in modern day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Finer arms sound foolish and feeble. Well, yeah, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. I'll make sure to bypass any boomsticks. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. I will do this deed. Alright, so range combat is kind of sucky. You have to like wait for that to, and every time you move it yeah. Bink! And you can't hit shit. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot one. There we go. I need a rat. Is there another one? There we go. Get a little bit more blood. And we're gonna get back to... Being sneaky. So we have, if we use our all specs, we can cut, we should be able to see them through. Apparently not. We're gonna get invisible. See if we can feed on them. Or this. Let's grab that baseball bat while we're at it. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Surely this blood drama continues. Till the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back, Perry Dodge Spin and all that, and so on. And Perry so on Dodge and so Spin. On. These are the nightly battles of this ancient game. Well, to be honest, you came at a well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Saban. Well, in LA, these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Hell is my eternal madness. Oh, boy. I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell. You'll figure it all out. You will now take your pea shooter back. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Was he saying that to the door? <laughs> we will be there soon. And that should end the prologue. You've received two experience points. Yada yada yada. How to use them. Blah blah blah. Prince LaCroix has arranged for you to use a Camarilla safe house in Santa Monica. Alright. Here we are at our little safe house. So we're going to end it here. Uh, for the time being, and we'll pick a, pick this up uh, at a later point. Uh, if you liked Vampire Masquerade, or you have a comment, feel free to comment and uh, hit that like button. If you like it, if you hate it, let me know why. If you think I should change something, let me know. I uh, I always take uh, compliments and. 
criticisms in the same token. So feel free to let me know. Appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.